Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Mama Set, and this is Animalia. After dark, you can tell, because it's night. We're playing City Skylines, and we just, in the last episode, extended Spider Industrial significantly. We are getting some buildings popping in. You can see them building as we speak. And between episodes, I let time run on and fix a few little things, so I plugged in the exit roads, because I hadn't done that. I've also connected up um, the frontage road to the main road network, so... If you can now get to this by diving under here and getting in, you can also get from it from this road, gets you onto it, and you can get a shortcut from this road, gets you onto it. Again, as I said previously, I didn't want to overload the roundabout anymore, so I've not got any roads directly to it. Getting out, you can drive directly onto this road, heading this way, and you can dive down and around and come out onto here. You need to keep an eye on this location, because too much traffic diving and switching lanes here, between which way they want to go, might cause a problem. So we may end up with a dedicated lane that comes across to here. We'll have to keep an eye on it, but basically split this out so that one, one part of it joins in under the roundabout, another part of it joins in over here. Ultimately, that should be everything you need. So far, it appears to be working okay. The braid flows, which is the main thing. Traffic gets in and gets out as quickly as it possibly can without having to fuss too much. Also, if someone wants to say get out, get on, then get round nice and quickly over there. See, if we end up with a lot of traffic trying to make that turn, then we'll just do some upgrades. You're two lane each way, you're not struggling too much. Keep an eye on that if we need to upgrade it, we will do. Hear the casual dingings, and I see a power problem. Why are you complaining about power when we've got plenty of it? I have a vast amount of power, what's not connected? You're connected to my network. Nope, no you're not. <laughs> I have a dam, a nuclear power plant, and they are... Are you operating yet? No, not yet. This hasn't filled up enough yet. There's quite a lot of um, area to fill, so it's fine. As long as the poop isn't getting out, it's the main thing. So yes, it turns out that um, that large power plant isn't connected. So we've got brownouts in a few edge places. Okay, right. Um, one thing we can do about that is to move you and you, so you can get a connection there. You can also get a cable on the edge of here. Uh, the raised railway line is going to be a problem there. All right. Um, No, that was a silly idea. I was going to try and go along down the centre of the highway, but it um, appears that we can't quite reach that, because you know, there's not enough space. Can we? Yes, we can go under there, and we shall. We'll do it like that. Right. I don't believe we need... quite as many power lines as that is proportion to. Nope, no, I'm happy with that. No immediate concerns. I don't think I could put a wharf on that edge. There's a lot of advantage to it. Wow, that's trading quite bad. Are you operating normally? Yeah, you're operating normally. It's just that much of the river you're trading. You can already see the height difference we've got man managed to manufacture by sucking the river away. Driving to work at incineration plant. Apparently, yeah, it's what you've decided to do. Alright, I will leave you beyond that, my friend. So that should resolve our electrical problem, because now all of the power that we've got is actually plugged in, apart from those two windmills over there. Right. And it's day, which means we can see some stuff. Right. Having connected this in and resolved some of it, we now have a very small demand for uh, commercial and a very small demand for residential. We do want to make sure we are still providing enough people and things to fill in this working environment. Um, 
what could we do with sticking on the corner of here? I think we'll leave that spacious for now. Um, so what we will do is grab the button that enables me to have trees. You want trees with leaves? Trees with leaves. And just fill that in a bit and make it just a little bit greener. You know, pollution and the like. Trees. There we go. Right, so we have greenied all of this as best we can. Remember not to have trees near runways. Right, okay, good. What can we put somewhere else? Well, we've pretty much got our industrial capacity mostly sorted. We don't need any more of that. So we're looking at putting in more residential now. We do have this enormous lake of poo water, um, which I do intend to refill. I just need to work out um, what is the equilibrium point for it. Which currently I don't know. I don't know how much it's receding and the rest of it. So what I will do is grab water, grab treatment, put just the one in. You've got power? Yes, you've got power. And you are connected to the pump network. And we'll just have one output network there. Not operating. Why are you not operating? Pretty sure I connected you up. There you are. Got power, you've got poop. Why aren't you pumping? There we go. So we'll just leave that, just have the one. I suspect it'll probably more than enough to fill it up, but still, it's a nice, it's a lake. It's full of awful brown water, but it's still a lake, so I'm going to be happy with that. Alright, so, areas we've got left to fill in. Pretty much everything on the south is filled in as much as we can possibly build it, as much as I care to build it. I like the lower density areas. So we've got this section around the lake, which we'll probably leave till later, and this section around the airport between Eagle Skies, Birdsong, and Meerkat. So, this kind of district. So, I would probably be plugging it in to the motorway. Wow! That's a healthy amount of traffic coming in and out of there. That's what I like to see. Yep, yeah, that's all the people getting in and out of the farming district. The farming district is now healthy. You're apparently stopping for some lights. I would rather you didn't. Manual traffic lights. No, not manual traffic lights. Uh, switch traffic lights. No, 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 no lights up this end. Just get in. You off the motorway as quick as we possibly can. Off, 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 off. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Alright, here's a quick question. Are people from here? Yes, yeah, some of them are indeed. Turning... No, you're, no one's going from here to... You, which is fine. Is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So it's a little bit busy over here, but nothing too bad. It to me that swapping these two around at some point might not be a bad idea, so they come off before they come on. But, yeah, it's just busy, that's the main thing. It's just busy. Could I increase my road size? I don't think it's desperately needed. It's not snarling up too badly, it's just busy. Right, we were talking, before I got distracted, about what we're going to put in here. I think it's probably just going to be another low density area. I think we've probably filled in the heart of our city with quite a lot of high density. I don't necessarily think we need another one, particularly around the airport. I'd like to keep it slightly lower. We might put another high density area at the back, or maybe stick a little one in there, perhaps. But, time on this episode left. We could put one in, a little one in here, I suppose. Yeah, let's just stick a tiny little district in there. So, we will want a roundabout. Is there a location I can fit you in? Not quite. I can rotate.
take you. What is it about you that's causing problems? Told me just you're an odd shape, yes? Now, to my head, there should be enough gaps between the pillars there to do that. But apparently, I have to go. Space already oil. What's, what's that thing that isn't? Building is burnt down. Yeah, I don't care. Alright, fair enough. We will do our usual thing. We will pause. We will take this. We will demolish the roads. What do you want? Is that 12 meters up? That might be the thing. What have we got this set here? Oh, it's full height, so that is. That is 12 meters, so we will grab that. Bring you up 12 meters. Try and make sure there's a big enough gap between posts. Done. And we want highway. Like so, right. Ooh, that's the way of wrong. <laughs> Flip you around. I want that way around. And then down. Right. So I'm putting a little micro district in over here. May or may not plug it into this. We want our main road. Be straight. Come out. Come down as soon as you can. I think it's 12 is the longest slope. Yeah. Come out to about there, and then we will just. Fill this in. Not quite missed that one. Missed that one. Yeah, there we go. Fill this out as best we can, and as large as we want to. Maybe a little micro district. Okay, it's not just going to have that enough people in it to warrant it, but uh, that is all basically pollutionated, so we won't be putting anything on there. And then we'll just, uh, let's just make it vaguely symmetrical. Right. Moving along, I wanted. I said I wanted high dis high density, so I will paint. Density. And also, I will let's grab that, grab that, and yeah, it should be that one. There's the high density residential. And now we want to run the power around the corner. Water, or well, conveniently, we have a water line quite nearby. Should allow us to coat all of you. Don't need trash. We will add. Uh, well, we have, might as well just have you come out of there. There. So that'll be just an extra service road connecting a few things up. The depots. Um, I think you only ever need one bus depot. Yeah, I think you already have need one bus depot, so we'll leave it with just one bus depot. That's that located, we will need an hospital, we will need... Apparently the fire coverage over here is awful, so we will put fire station there. It's not the greatest place for it. Let's actually move you into the centre of this other district. We'll want a police station. I just put two fire departments down, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Um, fire rest down here is abysmal. Have a fire station. Wait. Uh, fire station, police station. So, 
pretty happy with that. Uh, you will probably want a school. Don't, not going to give you a more expensive one. You don't need it. Bus route. From there to there to there to there to there to there. Apparently, don't go down that road. You'll just get hideously lost. There, there, and there. Right. Bus route done. We need to do name of the district. Now this is just kind of stuck in between. A few, it's in a, a crevice and a crack. It's just basically a little bit of extra space that we wanted to fill in at short notice. So we need to give it a name. Um, we're going to have animals get stuck places. Just like living nooks and crannies. So I've got a woodworm. That'll do. Wood. Worm. Woods. It's not yet a woods, but we can fix that alarmingly quickly by using trees. Paintings. There we go. Woodworm woods. I did buses. Um, I am probably going to give you... Uh, let's give you a couple of sunken plazas in the center and a large playground next to the school. There we go. Right. So that little lot got not power immediately. So if I just drag a little bit there, that should fill that in. Done. Alright, I've zoned you, um, let's talk metro. Ah, we do have a metro line that goes past. Right, we can fix that one nice and easily. Let's add a stop. Metro, 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 there we go. Single platform. Put you there. We put it on the S type. Connect. Like so. Grab the root button. Bring these two across. And we are free. I accidentally scrub one of my overround railway line routes. Oops. Like so. And there we go. Woodworm Woods. No idea how quickly people are going to move into Woodworm Woods. Woodworm 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 Woods. But it's just filled in a little bit more space. Alright. Well, we've got a few more minutes in the episode. Let's just have a brief, realize the zoom out and have a good look at our city. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how Animalia is turning out. Again, not sure what I'm going to do this. So we've now begun to see a bit more of these edges now visible. So perhaps the lake is deflooding. We'll not know for a while. We're not getting too much pollutant coming around the corner there. It is mostly flowing out the stream. The dam is not yet operating. So apparently we need to wait a little bit longer for that. A little bit of space over here that we could potentially put a few more pump outlets should we need them. No rule, I'm pretty happy with this. I do wish it didn't look so weird with these ones. I've already had a look at them. Right, uh, do we have any crime? Nope, crime has just shut up. Traffic. Busy. Busy but not stopped. Busy but not stopped. Busy but not stopped. Busy but not busy but not stopped is a good refrain to have. I mean that's mostly just buses there. I'm complaining about the land value. I'm not meaning much to do about that. Busy but not stopped. Overall, busy but not stopped. There's a bit of a queue there, getting out onto that road, but. So be it. It's moving, it's the main thing. Surprised that this road is as quiet as it is. I would have thought it would have been busier given that it leads into the heart of the center of my city. Speaking of the heart of the center of my city, let's turn that off. I was glancing around there, but have I picked up any more of these? I've built the stadium. No, no, no. Yes. No. No. So, out of interest, what do I need to get you? 
Fill three cemeteries. Hmm. Kind of difficult to do given the amount of crematoriums I've got. Hmm. What do I need for you? Lots of garbage. Okay. <laughs> All tax rate at 4% at a posh mall. Alright. Policies. Taxation. 4%. 4%. I will say I can't do this for too long. Because... Yeah, all taxes at four percent budget. Loans. No, nope, don't need any loans. Can't do this for too long, because we'll end up, as you can see, losing an astounding amount of money. Pause. Maintain for twenty weeks. Alright, well let's just try it. What else do we need? Ten thousand squares of office zones. Crime rate over fifty percent? No. Seven in, seven universities for Grand Library, all right. Thousand abandoned buildings. <laughs> well, if the cash flow goes, unemployment rate over fifty percent for the oppression office. Apparently, managed to get all of these, so I need to maintain that one for twenty weeks. So we'll just see how long we can go before we completely run out of money. And you require. Oh, what's the office park? It's the courthouse was crime. You require for the Grand Library another university. Well, how many have we got? Well, you're all a satellite dish, so we've got one university there, one university there, and one university over here. So, where could we stick another university? I don't really want to dump something in the middle of the otterways because I'm quite happy with the shape and layout of that one. I mean, Unless there happen to be an absurdly lucky amount of space over in the corner. That's heavily polluted. Oh, that's something we could think about. This is there space down over here. That's a power line with a marsh. It's not too much of a problem. So we could have a nice kind of commercial one. Because we've got an industrial one, a residential one, and an office based one. So, doink. Building added. Yeah, you're connected up, so you should stop paying a bit. So does that mean... Maintain for 10 weeks. Okay, I should be able to do that. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording here, and we will be back shortly, um, when I have either completely run out of money, or when we've got our achievements. Back in a bit. So I'm going to wait for those to come in over between episodes, or I'll just carry on doing something else. But please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Mama Set. This has been After Dark with City Skylines. Thanks for watching.